Rescuers in South Africa are in a race against time as they search for at least 39 people missing after a building collapsed in the city of George near Cape Town. At least seven people were killed. More than 200 emergency personnel are working with sniffer dogs and heavy lifting equipment to find survivors. Famida Miller joining us now from the city of George in South Africa. So Famida, what's happening with the search for survivors? Are rescuers still hopeful? Well, it's as precisely as you said there, they are racing against time to try and rescue people as quickly as possible because some of the main concerns are the extent of people's injuries um, and also access to fresh air, exposure, dehydration. Uh, those that they have found, um, they have sustained quite serious injuries and they're in hospital. And as you said, there's seven people have died. So really time is of the essence. I'm just going to step out of shot for a moment to give you an idea of what it looks like. It, it looks quiet at the moment, but that's because rescuers are moving to a different section of that collapsed building to what was a basement, which was supposed to have been the parking area. And, and that goes down about uh, three or four meters. Um, and so that's sort of as far as, as rescuers have, have to dig. I'm just going to step back in uh, to explain a bit further about what, what's happening. So there are at least 200 emergency personnel on site. And by this afternoon, it'll be about 48 hours since the collapse took place. Rescuers have said that they're encouraged and they're confident um, about the access to the site and being able to rescue more people. At this point, it continues to be a search and rescue operation. Um, they say it's far too early for it to be a recovery. Um, and they say they will continue for at least another two days with these uh, search and rescue operations. All right. Thank you. Thanks for that update from South Africa. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.